Well, I don't know if it's true, but this might be the matchup of the week. I was considering either this or the Harsh and Johnny matchup, to be honest. Paul and Andre. So the team I rated as the best team in the draft. I think long term, the master plan, I like the Andre master plan. Paul, I think you do what you do every year. It's a solid team on paper. You always get a top tier quarterback. You always get one of those top tier tight ends that gets you out of a jam whenever you need it. And you usually have at least one great running back. And then you kind of figure out the rest as the season goes along, like you've always done. And then you lose in the semifinals every year. Well, I'm going to break it down for you guys. Thomas Brady versus Kyler Murray. Paul, I'm giving the advantage to Andre here. Kyler Murray is going to put up a lot of points. That Kansas City game, man, I, even if you're not a fan of football, that is a game. That is the second most anticipated fantasy game that I am looking forward to. Um, there's a lot for week one. I mean, every game you could say for fantasy implications, but that to me ranks as number one because not only you got to see how the offense is going to operate without DeAndre Hopkins and how the Kansas City Chiefs new look wide receivers look. Debo Samuel and Keenan Allen versus Cooper Kep, Cooper Kep, Cooper Kep, and Devontae Adams. Paul, I love Debo against Chicago. And I love Keenan against Las Vegas. Debo has potential to score a touchdown. Keenan Allen does not. When I go to the flip side, Cooper Cup will score a touchdown. You can book it. It happened every game last year almost. Devontae Adams will also score a touchdown. Give me Gangsta Dresta. Jonathan Taylor and Kareem Hunt. I don't even know what Kareem, like, this guy wanted to be traded, which is why I didn't want to take him, but Jonathan Taylor against Houston will run all over them. Problem is this, a guy who I don't like long-term, but I like for week one, Elijah Mitchell will probably hit 100 yards and a touchdown. And A.J. Dillon, I'll take over Kareem Hunt. A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, I honestly think can both finish inside the top 15 for running backs this year. I had A.J. Dillon as my RB19. And that was with me ranking Aaron Jones, I think, as my RB8 or 9, which, go figure, I was going to take him, right? I, I like Mr. Dillon. He's got potential, a lot of potential. And I do think that maybe the tide has turned, that he gets it right at the goal line because they're going to ground and pound. There you go. Travis Kelsey over Zach Ertz. Paul, I'm not fighting this one. You got that one. Kelsey could also potentially get two touchdowns. Terry McLaurin and Drake London. Drake London has the questionable tag. We'll see if he's good to go. Terry McLaurin against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Sure, why not? Tyreek Hill against New England, I don't like. Chase Edmonds against New England, I do like. It's a lot of dump offs in that game. Up. Uh, Andre, I don't know if you listen because you don't have a Facebook, but brace yourself, kid, because you're going up against the defense that's going to get at least 20 points every single week. That is the New Orleans Saints defense. Paul. I am very seriously considering if you ever want to trade that defense for a skill position player, I don't know if I'll ever do it, but I would seriously consider it. I'm very big on this defense. This defense is amazing. My only concern is the offense that they're playing is not a traditional offense. It's kind of like a gimmicky with Marcus Mariota. I'm not saying they're going to, not hit you 20 points, but they might give you 19, Paul. So I just I just want you to be aware that the 19 points are coming. It's not going to be 20 like it will every week, Paul. I'm just saying, like, I really like this defense a lot, Paul. Uh, Drake London, though, I, he, he's a guy I'm not big on, if, even if he is healthy in that matchup. I think it's all Mr. Pitts. Well, I got to pick a winner. I think the clear advantage is Murray, Cup, and Adams over the rest of Paul's guys in the top half. But then I think the flex flex and tight end department, I'm going to probably give to Paul, which means it comes down to the running backs. And Taylor has to carry the load. Kareem Hunt's got to carry the load. Elijah Mitchell. And then, because I if, if I'm saying right now, Paul, that A.J. Dillon scores a touchdown and maybe Mitchell gets a touchdown, Taylor would have to get two. Because I honestly don't know what the hell Kareem Hunt is going to do in this offense this year. This could be just a man who's just lost. But, 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 the X factor is, say it, Paul. I want you to hear me say it. 
And I'm giving you a, like a legit evaluation here. When in doubt, Saints D will have your back. Saints D is the key to victory here. Not only will Kyler Murray put up 30 plus, uh, this, this, this has shootout written all over it. I'm looking at this right now, Paul. Debo has to score a touchdown. That'll that'll get rid of one of Cup's touchdowns. I don't know if Cup might put up two. Knowing how emotion, knowing how emotion that Cup is. You got it. Pause my train of thought, Paul. I'm like thinking of the mathematics of it. You know what? Paul, I'm going to back you up on this one. I think Andre will still have one of the best teams come season end. But when in doubt, you got to love September Paul. September Paul, man. Got to love it. Saints D beats out Mr. Jones with a final score of Paul 149. Andre Jones, 143.